All right, show number six. This is it. It's a Tuesday night. You see, I'm uh, I'm back in the uh, in the red room. We are a fifteenth, one fifteenth of the way through this uh, this tournament. That's roughly seven uh, percent. It's like point oh six six something. So the fun and games continue, and that, 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 that's exciting for me. And I do like to see you back in the red room. It gives me a feeling of comfort. It, it calms me down. It keeps me – it's like a comfortable blanket to me, you in the red room. I, I did get some comments about the uh, lamp in the uh, window at, at uh, the Bellagio last night, and uh, people really liked the uh, joke about that being the Aladdin Hotel out on the Strip. So we're keeping our viewers entertained. We're doing all right. Hey, we're giving them, we're giving them uh, a lot of information, but the, I, I, I'm excited that we're breaking stories. We really are, given and, that people. Uh, we're on top of everything. We knew that Yankee game wasn't going on today before anyone knew. We knew that the Marlins weren't happening with the O's on Monday. We didn't know it was going to go the whole full week, but uh, I don't know. Do you want to talk about the uh, BFCs or not? The squad for COVID? <laughs> yeah, that was, that's what we came up yesterday with the uh, DFCs, and you were saying that, hey, maybe these Marlins have to be DS, DFC'd, and they were for a week. And, and, and that's fine. They, they can be. I, I, I uh, loved your point about them uh, relocating to Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> so you're uh, slipping something in there. You're, uh, you're, you're talking about – I wore the baby blue – three days in a row now because you 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 love these Jays, man. And uh, yeah. you've been on them from the beginning. Uh, for me, it was easy for me to jump on the bandwagon with them too because they're like a triple-A team. They're fun. They're young. I mean, uh, they're the Queen City kids. Can we, can we, can we call them that, the Queen City kids? Uh, absolutely. And, you know, their first game in Buffalo will be uh... – uh, like August 11th, I think. I, I might have that date wrong, but it's not. In, I'm, they got to construct. Apparently, they got a home game in uh, Washington tomorrow, I think. Right, right. But their first game in Buffalo is that they have to refit the stadium to make it Major League Baseball worthy. And really, you know, minor league stadiums are not like what they were in the 70s and 80s. Oh, minor league really. stadiums are, are nice. So my thinking was when I saw the headline, they have to refit the stadium. I thought, oh, the difference between a minor league stadium and major league stadium is that third deck is the upper deck. And I thought, oh, they need to fit it with an upper deck to make it major league uh, uh, appropriate so that they can put the cardboard cutouts throughout the entire <laughs> stadium. Uh, I get you it. and those cardboard cutouts, man, you, uh, you're staying right on top of that. Huh? And, I, and I love it. Hey, man, they're playing in the Queen City, and uh, they're, they are playing amazing baseball. You've been in – in, in involved with this team since, since the beginning. And, I mean, we talked about them having a World Series, uh, home series since in, in, in Buffalo. But before they yeah. get to the, the World Series, they got to uh, have their first home game. So, <laughs> so August 11. Right? Who, who should throw out the first pitch? Uh, I was thinking maybe Scott Norwood. <laughs> that's a good one man let's see i love it man because you're talking about the guy that missed the kick for the one chance yeah. that they had right, right. yeah so yeah throw it out. excellent but, but then if it, i mean maybe you can't get scott norwood so um one of my all-time favorites will be available got to be available ron jaworski is from buffalo Jaworski's from buffalo. so you didn't want to go with the obvious of jim kelly did you oh wait a minute He's, is he sick i can't remember <laughs> Jim Kelly is doing fine. Okay. He's doing fine. Okay. But, uh, um, that's an obvious choice. It's an obvious choice, but I, I'd like to yeah, go I do like Jaws. the Jaworski going Jaws. And let him throw it like a football. So you're not going to go with OJ, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's there. He's around. He's healthy. I yep, mean, something. it's the only time anyone ever liked him. Uh, <laughs> number 32 with the Bills. Uh, Come on. Yeah. I like the idea of OJ maybe being able to turn things around and get out there and throw out the first <laughs> pitch in, 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 in the Queen City. I, I think you I think you've nailed it. It's got to be uh, gotta, well no they they got to save him for the World Series. So, right? uh, yeah, for the World Series. So August 11th uh, and they don't even do these do these did they, they have a theme song I was I was working on a, on a theme song for them cuz I I like them so much. 
Uh, but I don't know I don't, how to sing. I don't think they have one, man. I, well, I, I got I, one, but uh, it's uh, – we'll do it another time because I'm not even feeling like I have the confidence to do it. But uh, we can we, – we'll, Wait, wait I'm not it. following you. You're saying you've written a song? And I've that's... written a song for, the, for, this, for this theme that I love, for these Queen City kids. Just a couple of lyrics to, uh, to an old classic. I love it. I love it. You, we, Are you we sure? Can't Are you on, we can't bail on the Jays. If you've got a song, right, man. let's hear it. Let's see what we, let's see what we got. I'll, I'll mouth them because I don't, I'm, I don't pretend that I know how to sing. Neither, neither do I, but these are our J's. you got to do it. These J's. Whoa, I lost the beat. I can't do it. Essentially, this was what it was. Lost it was your the head. Jackson yeah. Browns. It was, I lost the Bluetooth. It was the Jackson Browns these days, and it was these J's. I don't know the song. Yeah, Jackson yeah. Brown. Is he? He's a he's a he's a pop artist or something. Jackson Brown. Yeah. So it was to Jackson's Browns these days, but it was these Jays. Now if they seem to be afraid to play the game in the field that's made of dome. Well, it's just that they've been losing for so long. These Jays. And then it's, uh, well, these Jays keep on moving, moving on to the Queen City Buffalo for 30 games strong, these, J these Jays. That's, so I, love I can't that. sing, and, and, I, and I, I didn't get a chance to work on it, but there's a Jackson Brown song, These Days, and I think that we could do these lyrics to these days, but we will say it's these Jays. And that's what, that's what they are, these Jays to me. And so if the Queen there's City. anyone out there who has like a, a garage band ability or has a, a yes. LC, uh, uh, you've got the lyrics now. We, we can make it our theme song too. Um, yes. So anybody wants to uh, help out, chip help in, out, play a couple of licks of Jackson Browns these days, we could do the lyrics that I just came up with five minutes ago, these Jays, because we're very, very excited about that. Can I add a lyric to it? I would love you to. These Jays making all these plays, turning double plays. These Jays, they ain't the Rays. These Jays, yes, I Duh. love it. They've been losing for so long, but now uh, they're going to be moving to the Queen City. Thirty games strong. These Jays. So. Uh, I liked it, the Jackson Browns these days, which is a beautiful song. Uh, and who I'm is that? I, you know, I expected a restraining wow. order at any, at, at any minute. Is there a uh, song Jackson Brown sings that I would know? Like just as a you would know these days. You would know uh, uh, "Running on Empty," which uh, I think the Eagles made famous. You would oh, know I hate the Eagles. Yeah, I know you hate the Eagles. These days, I don't know it. The Eagles, I wouldn't know any. I know they sing, sing that Hotel California thing. I'll just give you one second of this song. start over and uh whoo <laughs> but that's the song these days it's i don't know i always like jackson brown a little what can i tell you so you know it's interesting you're it's hot out there muggy you're in uh i'm sweating in... because i tried to do a bit with a song <laughs> i wrote five minutes ago and the only thing that saved it was you with your lyrics that you came off the top of your head what am i doing writing bits about songs well you know it's interesting your location of you were uh wrote in saying that they aren't sure exactly where you're at so they're just picturing you as being in your mount vernon office <laughs> <laughs> i don't even know what that means well i do it means that you're a uh, connoisseur of all things american right like okay. go back to 
It's George Washington. You got nice ah. memorabilia in your home. But I know you're in Vir Virginia. No, Maryland. And Mount Vernon is Virginia. And so yeah. I did a little map quest thing. And mm -hmm. you're only 33 miles away from Mount Vernon. I'm very close to everything that's interesting uh, in the uh, in the in, in the DMV. We like to call it the uh, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia area. We like to call it the DMV. I'm close to everything. I'm close to Nats Park. I'm close to Camden Yards. I'm close the DMV. To the DMV. Now that chair you're sitting in could probably be an artifact from Mount. This, is, this chair actually is a pretty good piece of wood, and it's got the little leather part on the bottom too. Oh yeah, that's a George Washington special. Yeah, this is a George Washington style chair, and this is this is red oak. What, uh, what is red oak? Is that a nicer oak than? It's a harder oak because you know the weather's a little bit more uh, difficult to handle around here. So you know, like sometimes I like to take this whole setup, and I can't really show you the whole desk, but this is a solid desk with one of those leather areas in the middle like the old school but sometimes I like to take the whole setup and be exactly as I am here and I like to do that outside in 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 in, in the in the element because <laughs> I really and, and bring and it I right get a tent and I have umbrellas and uh I get my niece to hold the umbrella and, <laughs> and we have lemonade and I like to yeah I like this I like because you know I'm I'm in an area where there's civil war battlefields where there were and so I like to reenact that feeling of being in a, in, in a field office. So yeah. that's why you have to have red oak. It could be, yeah. Yeah, I, I get it. I, I just have red walls. <laughs> that's all I can do. I just have red walls. This is the most rambunctious show we've ever done, all because I'm uh, very uh, uneasy about the fact that I try to do a parody song to uh, Jackson Jackson Brown. but. I really feel good about these, uh, the, the, uh, the Queen City kids. They did it tonight. They got the phenom going tomorrow. Uh, Pearson, is that his name? Uh, the six, six, uh, guy that throws uh, 100 miles yeah, an hour. Yeah. You're calling him a phenom. What, I'm what, calling what? him a phenom, and he's never even pitched in the NBA. <laughs> well, what actually is a phenom? It's short for a phenom. is when Clayton Kershaw came up. You didn't even know who he was when he came up, and all of a sudden, you know, he's, he's lights out. That's a phenom. A phenom means it's all, and only baseball is really the only sport. The only sport. That, the only sport you could do that in because in basketball, you already know who's great from college. Mm -hmm. or high school. Mm -hmm. uh, and in, in football, you don't really have phenoms. You, I mean, you know, you got a quarterback that could develop in a year or two and be great. Like a Mahomes, but but he doesn't come out of division. No, three. he's a, he phenom is like like think of Kershaw. He's a phenom. I yeah, remember I, growing I, up as a kid out here, the uh, Fernando Valenzuela. Is, he is a phenom. That's a phenom. Nobody knows who the heck he is. He's a short, chubby guy, Mexican, and he comes on and he, and, and he kills it. Baseball still has that. That's part of the beauty of baseball. They still have that sense that you can have a phenom and uh so if you were gonna make a Ken Griffey Jr. wouldn't be a phenom because everybody knew the kid everybody right. knew him. it's a guy that comes out of nowhere and, and and is all of a sudden great I think Clemens was probably a phenom I don't think anyone knew who Roger Clemens was and then he he was good right away I mean great right away but you think the Jays have a phenom I think this kid could be a phenom uh I looked at his minor league numbers. They were they they were impressive. Yeah, he 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 went through all minor leagues last year. Not all, but A, Double A, and Triple A last year. Uh, and uh, I know to some people that sounds like all, but <laughs> still got rookie league and high level single leg. Let's not get into the Mac and winter ball. I'll sing again if you get if you have <laughs> hard time. These Jays, no, but uh, yeah. So his numbers. He's 6'6", 250. Uh, they're throwing him right into the middle of the fire of the heat of the uh, summer and of the COVID. Uh, it's, it's not like he's getting to go out there and throw against cold bats and, 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 and you hope for the best. You know, these, we talked about it yesterday. These guys batting five, 600. You know, the Orioles looking like, uh, you know, like, a, like bombers, the Baltimore bombers. And so they're throwing him out in the middle of the heat where everybody's hitting the hell out of the ball. They know what they got, so I'm going to stick to it. He throws triple digit heat. The, the article I read about him was, um, was hilarious. The, it's just 
beat writers pumping him up saying uh he's making his grand debut like he's showing up to like his quinceanera or something <laughs> it's hilarious. well uh, he could have I mean, that, that that's yeah, that sounds dandified and a little right. respect he could but, be the best like, starter <laughs> i guess me saying he's a phenom is not much better than that so you're really technically so, making fun of me no no he's going against <laughs> uh max uh scherzer tomorrow and scherzer's coming off his uh his dud of a debut outing. So um, this is a difficult spot for them. The Nats are done, right? I mean, I mean, they lost. I mean, they lost again tonight. They're, they're that's what they lost to these Jays, man. Yeah. Um, and uh, not, not hitting at all. Uh, you know, the Angels are, the bats are, they're, they're not even, they got six runs tonight, but they only got six hits through hits. So it's not like they're tearing the game. What did do? I didn't even get a chance. I was, uh, setting up my field office and uh, we got a little bit of rain. So I got a little delayed. I didn't get to see any of the numbers of the late games. What's going on in that game? What, which, which game are you asking? The Angels. Did Rendon do anything? Uh, I, I don't know that Rendon's done anything yet, but he's alive and he's in, which is uh, important. He's 0 for 2. Looks like he uh, got a walk. He left a guy on base, but he's in the lineup. So that's much needed for these for these yeah angels. i mean i like seeing him there in the, in, in the third spot yeah so uh, six to two man so seattle they're gonna be one and four i mean that's it for them right well this game has a long way to go and that angels pen is uh certainly unqualified to be closing out games so who knows but the, but the uh but, the, but that nats game doesn't have long to go uh no. they're one and four with these jays that's in the books. We only got four hits again today, the, the Nationals. Um, their bats are cold. So I got another spam email uh, coming to me for, uh, uh, you know, I'm signed up to a lot of this stuff, but this one just cracks me up. This was, this was hilarious. Uh, check, check this out. Um, let me see if I can find it here. Uh, where is it? There, there it is. Okay. All caps followed by. We're going to get screamed at again? Yeah, four oh. dollar signs and four exclamation points intermixed. Mini twins, M I N N Y. Uh, <laughs> mini twins blowout winner. Four exclamation points and caches. Jesus Christ, these people. <laughs> Go mini twins again. What's your max bet, dude? Ugh. Right, and then followed by, and your name, please? Question <laughs> mark. No, you think it's Russians? What? You think it's Russians? No, no, no. These it's are, not Russians uh, doing the spam. No, these are these are toke services. No, I can't believe you're nothing. taking that hack line no. seriously. <laughs> no, the, well, this is serious business. Um, we'll, know, never, we'll never spam. Uh, text we'll you. We'll never spam. We'll never yell at you. Sometimes we'll sing. Like uh, the song that we tried to do to Jackson Browns these days, we called it These Jays, and I think you had the best lyrics of all, and you don't even remember them. I still have lyrics <laughs> written down. <laughs> that's true. That's proof of that. Now, if um, they seem to be afraid to play the game in the field that's made of dome, <laughs> that, was <one> of the, uh, <laughs> that was one of the lines. It was. Uh, but uh, I want to get back to the spam email. Yeah, let's talk about that because, uh, first of all, they're yelling at you. Everybody's it's not a spam email, text. spam text. But yeah. they would say they're not yelling at me. They're just exuberant. Can I ask something? Yeah. What the, what, what the hell are the mini twins? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Is that, say, is that, is that a team in uh, St. Paul, the smaller twin city? <laughs> <laughs> it's the smaller version. You bet on the Minnesota Twins. We're on the. Oh, mini the, okay. Oh, I thought you were saying like mini Twins. All right. We're on the mini <laughs> Twins. Unbelievable. So I can't believe I'm breaking out Shecky Green material. Go ahead. <laughs> so uh, this this Dazzy Vance is is a truly uh, phenomenal figure. Uh, turns out that Dazzy Vance was the main villain, if you will, the main villain in the three men on third play. Really? Yeah. Tell, tell us, tell, tell the audience about that. Well, this is, some people want to be enriched. 
Yeah, everyone's history. heard. Everyone has heard about the three man on third play. It's just a famous baseball phrase, but nobody really knows it. Nobody ever asked for it to be explained. But the th three man on third play stems from our guy Dazzy Vance. Let me let me tell you about. I'm I'm, I'm all third. ears. I I don't care if this episode goes two hours. <laughs> you know, I wanted it only twenty minutes. I'm all ears for this. Well, Vance was involved in one of the most famous flubs in baseball history, the three men on third incident. Um, I think it was 24, might have been 25, maybe 1926. I have a hard time remembering those years, <laughs> you know. He was 86 years older than <laughs> Phil Pitton in 1926. <laughs> right. He <laughs> recovered from all the arm injuries suddenly one, one uh, day. No more arm injuries. It's amazing. But, he pitched for Pittsburgh in 1915, and now you're talking all the way 11 years later. And in Pittsburgh, he looked like he was uh, in his 70s already. Go ahead. It's He's correct. an amazing dude, man. Right. So 1924, five or six, whatever it is. Um, he's on second base. I, I don't know how Vance got to second base, but he, he got on second base. He's on second base. Chick Fuster is on first base. And Babe Herman comes to bat. Not Babe Ruth, not George Babe Ruth Herman. Not George Herman Babe Ruth. Right? Not that one. Just the other, the, the other Babe the Babe Herman, who was a right fielder for the Brooklyn Robins. That's kind of interesting. There's a yeah. Babe Herman, and then there's a George Herman Babe Ruth. That's interesting. Very And very different people, although they were both right fielders. But uh, Herman whacks a, a, a long ball out into the outfield somewhere. I don't know where it goes. But uh, the guys start running around the bases. And uh, Herman <laughs> round, uh, round second. Meanwhile, um, Vance rounds third as the third base coach starts yelling to Fuster, who, who was on first, to go back to, to second because the throw, throw might be coming in. But Vance thinks the third base coach is talking to him. He's halfway home, so he stops and goes back to third. Fuster doesn't uh, uh, hear because he's got his, his head down. He's chugging. He goes to third, so now you got – Vance and Fuster on third, and here comes Herman. Here comes Herman. running back. <laughs> here comes Herman, just rounding the bases. And as soon as the ball gets thrown into the third baseman, there are the three men standing on third. Obviously, Fuster and Herman were tagged out, leaving. Dazzy Vance alone, safe at third. Yeah, that's uh. That's interesting in so many ways, and I wish we had time to break it down, but we might have, we might have to move on to the Ahoys. Ahoy hoys. <laughs> we're not going to talk about Dazzy Vance's base just running. I'm just kidding. That's I, hilarious. I want to know. So the, the, the guy actually was almost home, and he ran back. Well, somebody he, he hears the third base coach yelling, go back, go back, go back. He thinks it's meant for him. So he goes back. Yeah, the most touching home plate. They tell him to go back. Yeah. Well, no. The third base coach is yelling to the guy around in second, go back, go uh, back. But Vance thinks he's talking to him. Okay. Vance stops. So, but, but Vance did get past third and then stopped and went back. Went back to third. And then, and then the guy, uh, not George Herman, Babe Ruth, ran to third. Yeah. Was on first, went to third. There's Vance, and then the guy who hit the ball, Herman, is running the base. Oh, that was Herman. But this is such a boneheaded base running play. Like one of the all time boneheaded baseball players. You should never have three men on third base. <laughs> Just shouldn't, shouldn't happen. But what I think this does is you ready for this? I'm, 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 I'm all ears, man. I think this allows us to give a name to our award that we're giving out for the best automatic runner at second base for extra innings at the end of the year. I think we get to call it the Dazzy Vance. Oh, wow. That's the Dazzy Vance too? Right. But that was horrible running. You're going to do it in an ironic it's way? horrible about the guy on second. It's perfect. Right. That's right where Vance was. He was on second. And he, right? We got so you're Dazzy. saying Vance did everything he needed to do not to get out, so that was good? No, he he should have just walked home. Should have been paying attention. Should be running. Yeah, but we're trying to give the award for someone that's good, the best runner. 
No. Automatic runner at second. Yes. <laughs> yes. And that way, if he wins the award, whoever wins it for being the best at automatic base running gets the most absurd award in the books. The Dazzy Vance. Right. But not yeah. to be confused with the Dazzy Vance. Not to be confused with the Dazzy Vance. So. Which so far is going to Kyle Hendricks. Hendricks. Yeah, I like Hendricks. See, the only thing you know, is, and I love where it's going because it's very, very clever and, and, and funny, but you take an award that we give to somebody for being very, very good because Dazzy Vance was a very good pitcher. He just wasn't as good as Cy Young. So right. we've diminished lead tournament. We give them the Dazzy Vance because they're actually very, very good. Every award we give to someone is very good. The best yes. player to recover from COVID. And now the best automatic runner on second is all of a sudden getting a Dazzy Vance for Dazzy Vance's boneheadedness. Because the automatic <laughs> runner on second itself is boneheaded. All right. So that's, that's a political statement. You're making a political statement. Yes. Whereas okay. the Dazzy Vance is a political statement for the pitcher because we don't want to give a Cy Young this year. Yeah. So it works in that right. It, so they're both, you're right, they're both satire, satire, but yours is a satire for the automatic runner on second is that it's, that it's so obnoxious that we're yes. going to give them the, okay. Now All you, right. Yeah. All right. So who's leading the Dazzy Vance uh, as far as the base running Dazzy Vance? And you can't, don't call it's, it Dazzy Vance 2.0. No, it's just, just the Dazzy Vance. Vance. So who's winning the Daz events? Which two guys, which four guys are winning the Daz events? <laughs> right. I, I, I don't know. I just know it's not Otani. <laughs> Taz, Otani. And, and see, in a lesser show, you might have given the Daz events to the worst runner. Right. On a lesser right. show. Right. But we're not doing worsts. We're no. only doing the bests. So far, Otani is slated to win the Ricky Henderson Award. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question for you. Here's a question. Ricky Henderson, the year he stole... his signed glove, by the way. <laughs> I got his autograph rookie card. Three of them. Um, so we love Ricky. Ricky, the year he stole 100 bases, right? But I, I, I ran him down in an airport, and he was, I scared the life out of him, pulled my glove that I happened to have in my bag, and he just signed it to get away from me. He's not as fast as you think. <laughs> you got, you got. that's a true story well this point will prove that point that you just made so here's the question that will prove the point you just made the year ricky henderson stole 100 bases how many times was he caught stealing 37 that's you would think right that's a lot that's a lot of times and you said that obviously because because i thought it would be a lot i mean i guessed a lot because if the answer was four why would i even ask it yeah, I got. I mean, I, I I got seven years of higher education. I got to know outliers and tests. Right. I got to know using some computing there. Right. Over forty. But I still would have never been able to figure out your angle on the Dazzy Vance. <laughs> that needed. I'm not. I'm not smart enough for that. But go ahead. That, that needed a lot of dialogue. But we got there. We got there. So forty over forty times, like forty three times, he was caught stealing. Wow, that's a lot. Even more than thirty seven. <laughs> And you oh, that's a tremendous amount, right? He almost got thrown. He, he ran 150 times, and he so he got thrown right. out a third of the time, basically. Right. Uh, I'm uh, I'm looking that's at not very good getting thrown out a third of the time. That's just that's just reckless. Reckless. I'm the greatest ever. I'm the reckless. greatest the world has ever known. Reckless ever. Two thirds of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Two thirds. So I mean, one out of three is not very good, man. I mean, I mean, two out of three is not getting getting <laughs> getting punched out one time out of three is not is not very good, man. I don't think. So right, analyze all that. But yeah. uh, tomorrow the game starts at twelve forty. Oakland's got a home game. We we move into uh, game some game twos of the series. It's a full slate minus the the postponed games. Um, the Angels host. Uh, Seattle in the late late start. Haney will make a second. Tomorrow we start to see some pitchers returning to uh, to the mound for their second starts. Starting to get a feel of 
some uh, some of these guys um, some information about their their uh, workouts between starts and, how and what these hitters hitters are seeing them again and watching right, film right. Of them this year during in the tournament uh, yeah not in the season what do you think I mean, I haven't crunched the numbers like like you you would be doing but uh, I got the feeling that 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 that, that hitting is pretty strong overall right now as 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 a as a function of the game that hitters generally in this tournament are doing well. My impression so far has been that the pitching is ahead of the hitting. Okay. The pitching is ahead of the hitting, but the pitching is limited. Guys are on pitch counts. Um, people are getting injured go, as they're going out there. Uh, so it's like frontline pitching is a little bit ahead of okay. frontline hitting. We're just seeing teams like. Hey, I'm just glancing like, at like all of a sudden the Angels have six runs. I mean, I mean, they, they, these Jays, uh, the Queen City kids put up another five. Uh, yeah. yeah but you asked me if Washington was out. They lost again today. They're one in uh, four, right? Right. And uh, and 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 uh, Strasburg's got nerve damage in his hand. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I mean, they're done, right? Right. I think, yeah, that's about as serious as we'll get. Who's, on who's in worse condition? Let, let's analyze. Who's in worse condition? Washington, one and four, no bats. Um, Strasburg in, in uh, bad shape. Um, they, they are really feeling the loss of Rendon. So that's Washington. Or Miami, who has 15 guys now on ventilators. <laughs> Well, uh, they're in but, but Miami's two and one, so they're still just right in the thick. Yes, but, but 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 technically, they are uh, not even in the tournament. They're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're DFC as far they're disqualified for COVID. So <laughs> disqualified. even if it only goes to Monday, I mean, if it only goes through Sunday and they get to play on next Monday, and I'm not even sure that that that'll happen. But right now, that, that you can't make that comparison because they're the first team and the only team in the in, in the league to be uh, DFC. <laughs> but it's DFS. Do we, do we no, no, S S F. It's suspended. Disqualified for COVID. DFC disqualified suspended. for COVID. For COVID disqualified I, I, for COVID. They'll be back. They'll be back. Um, just, nobody, be, just nobody you'll recognize. It'll be a whole unless you want to say D4C in, in line with picks for sticks. D4C. Speaking of which, I, I want to make a real push. Uh, I'm reaching out to all of our, our viewers, all of our fans. Um, I'm going to have some time tomorrow that I'm going to work on emails. And so um, join our email list. Just uh, send us an email at uh, picks for sticks. Uh, that's number four, picks four sticks at gmail.com and if you've already signed up and you want to sign up uh, some some friends uh, just send us an email identifying that uh, they they got their name from you and we will send you a prize we got all these prizes, we got <laughs> lots of prizes. so I'm, back, I'm backed up with prizes yes <laughs> so it's uh but let's do an email push tomorrow let's shoot for uh Shoot for five. Five would be great. What does it uh, tell you that Cleveland's four and one? They, they, they swept a doubleheader today. Mm -hmm. What does that tell you? Because you were talking about them, and, and you were doing a shout-out. You were doing an ohoy hoy to, uh, to, to one of our favorite listeners, Henry, if not our favorite listener, who's a big uh, Tribe fan. Yeah, our, our loyalty award is going to go to a lot of people. Well, I have a... a uh, I had a, a hoy hoy today to, uh, from Dave Moore out of Greensboro, North Carolina. He he liked our segment on, uh, on 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 nicknames for cities when we finally figured out that Buffalo. Was but, 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 but before you go there, Henry's disqualified for loyalty because he's getting the contribution award. Okay, he, he's the contribution award. We couldn't do the show without you, Henry. And anytime you want to appear live. Is that your way of saying he's fired? Because he was, I thought he was in the writer's room. I thought he was a full <laughs> staff guy. Now he's just getting a contribution. <laughs> no, he full, he must full have lost a lot of money in Vegas. A anytime you want to come on the show, Henry, you let us know. And we will. I thought he was a full. I, I, I thought he was the showrunner. The showrunner. <laughs> and all of a sudden, now he's diminished the contribution. Or, yeah, Henry, don't listen to him. You're still the showrunner. Uh, even though he runs everything and he's got the money. All the money. 
Oh, so, uh, did you want me, should, should I say it? Yeah, I want to hear Dave, Dave Moore from North Carolina. Dave Moore from North Carolina uh, pipes in that uh, that he liked our segment about nicknames for, for cities, but he kind of takes me for a little uh, little walk in the park, mocking me a little bit because I forgot some of the big names. It looks like I forgot Motor City in Detroit, uh, Steel City in Pittsburgh, which uh, I thought I said, <laughs> uh, you know, and... Uh, and he goes on and on. We don't we don't need to go through everyone, but he he does correct me and say that uh, no, Baltimore is not Charm City. Baltimore is the city that reads. Reads <laughs> from Dave Moore. <laughs> Ahoy, Dave Moore. Ahoy. That's our segment. Ahoy, hoys. Ahoy, hoys. Well. Anything else you want to talk about tonight? Nah, I think we could wrap this up clean. I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I'm not going to play that Jackson Brown song again. <laughs> <laughs> not lead us out but, but it's good though. I love, I love these Jays. I love the fact that they're going to play in the Queen City, and I like the way they're playing. But is is four and one the best record in baseball right now? Mm -hmm. I don't. Know. Cool. I think so. Yeah, it, it is. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to make a, uh, a roast. Oh, so we're going to do a little bit of the food segment here. Good. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. the roast. I haven't decided yet, but, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just brown it on both sides. Well, I guess it's got four sides. And then uh, <laughs> and I'm, uh, I'm going to do that in a Dutch oven. But then here's where I get tricky. I'm not going to cook it in a Dutch oven. I'm going to move it to a, to a uh, crock pot. To a crock pot? Yeah. Well, the Dutch oven is is, is essentially a, a, a deep pot that you could put in an oven, right? It's it's got it, it looks like a pot. It looks like it could be any right. kind of black dark pot that has a lid and it's a little bit deep, but it's something that you can also put inside an oven. Is that what they yes. call it, Dutch oven? Yes, exactly. exactly. Now you ought to consider this as a as a third step and the first step. I, I would consider searing the roast in a, in, in a cast iron skillet and then maybe doing a little bit of whatever you're going to do in the Dutch oven and then into the crock pot. This is a lot of dishes. But uh, I didn't name one dish. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go back and I'll go in reverse, but not one dish was named. Searing the meat in oil in a, in a skillet. I don't know what's going on in the Dutch oven, but you brought that up. So you do whatever's going on in the Dutch oven and then into the crock pot. You're making some kind of barbecue? I, I want that to be shredded and then uh, I probably <laughs> barbecue. barbecue. Yeah, so you're making it like a barbecue. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's, uh, that's not necessarily a segment. That's just that Mike's an exceptional cook. And, and what kind of meat are you going to be using? What, from what company? A top, a top round roast. You're going to be using the meat from Butcher Box when you yes. need meat, and sometimes you need a butcher. It's all organic meat. It's free range. They're happy animals. I'm talking about the meat, not the butcher. Butcher <laughs> Box, our non-sponsor. <laughs> That's our segment. We, we snuck another segment in there, and I led you to it. All right. But I'm so happy because um, I got an email yesterday. From oh, the show's gonna still go on. This this train wreck still going on. We figured out we got three more days of the season left. <laughs> <laughs> season. But I got an email from Butcher Box and I'm gonna make me play Jackson Brown again. <laughs> <laughs> keep going on, <laughs> and they congratulated me on one year of membership. Um, so okay, yeah, that's cool. I mean, you're, you 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 love we love their products, and uh, we would love them to be a sponsor. And, we would. Uh, let's look, like, will, we, will we be able to find out this time tomorrow uh, how, how the roast came or they had the, how the uh, barbecue or the brisket or whatever you're making came? We'll know tomorrow. If, I'll, if I get on it now. Then All right. Well, we'll let's know. wind it up. Uh, you told me, though, and I, can yeah. I put you on the spot? I want to put you on the spot because you told me that we were going to have uh, uh, sort of a, a sign off for every show that you were going to come up with like a tag for every time we leave. I did. Have you, have you come up with that yet? Uh, I, um, I'm still working on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so if a hoy hoy is our hello. 
Ahoy Hoy is our shout outs, yeah. Because okay. when people call in, we give a shout out. Like I gave a shout out to Dave Moore, I gave him an Ahoy Hoy. Yeah. And so when we wind it up, we should say uh, whatever you came up with, but I guess uh, I guess that got lost in the meeting notes. Well, we'll have to go back and find them. Um, sure. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I wonder you uh, reduced Henry to just a contributor. That's his job. He's the, he's <laughs> right. the showrunner. Henry, help us out here. Henry, you're um, the showrunner. You're supposed to tell him what the tag on the end is supposed to be. Angel, All right, Mark. Uh, Angels up eight to two. Uh, Padres uh, got guys on. What's the Halos game? Eight to two. Nice. Uh, All right. Yeah, and uh, oh, Colorado right. all Hello. over Oakland tonight. Yeah, showing some life with Rendon in there. All right. Uh, yeah, that's, free, pick. That's free pick coming tomorrow. We're going to get you a free pick out there. Um, we'll provide all the breakdown. So it's really the information and analysis you, you, you want, not necessarily the pick. All right. Um, and there'll probably be no more singing ever again. On, <laughs> but uh, but they will, the, the Queen City kids will be uh, known as these Jays, the, the kids from uh, Queen City. All right, man. Let's call it a night. Ahoy. Ahoy, bye. <laughs>